thanks for the three bucks. It's got to be 420 for Samantha to give a shit, but let me read what you said. Uh, how do I land the timing for the first part of Oscars? Combo number four in training mode. The timing always throws me off. Also, what are the practical uses for her falling rain move? Crouch, command grab. All right, kid. I really like Oscar, so I'll give you a quick answer. <clears throat> I forgot what your questions were. Oh yeah, combo number four and falling rain throw. Easy to answer. Combo number four by Lou Verga. Everyone knows about that. Uh, so this kid is asking me for combo number four by Lou Verga. So combo number four by Lou Verga is this one. What is it? It's a rage drive combo. Yeah. Are you kidding? This is hard? What is he asking about? The timing always throws me off. The timing always throws me off. <clears throat> okay, let's tag it. Okay, and then let's put Rage on. Okay, so, one plus two. Oh, is this the... Maybe this part's the part you don't like, right? The forward, forward, two, three. So it's one plus two, forward, forward, two, three. One, two, three, dash, rage, arc. So that's the combo, right? Now, the only part that you could be fucking up is the forward, forward, two, three. And the reason is because you have to do it real fast. Mega fast. And also, maybe it needs to be shallow. No, even up close it works. Deep hit, shallow hit. So yeah, you just gotta do it fast. The nice thing about this character though is that for the most part, off of every juggle, you always do forward, forward, two, three. For her real juggle, it's always forward, forward, two, three, and then the ender you can change, right? So that's nice because you can also remember that. Well, see, this is also really great. You can do back four, two, three at the end of her open ground combos. Really great. She's a super good character, if you ask me. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, you gotta do it fast. You're already doing forward, forward, two, three off of every other juggle. You might as well just get used to doing it fast off of this, too. You know? I didn't time it right. You gotta let their legs drop. Anyway, the other thing he asked about was the falling rain throw. Uh, yeah, this throw is extremely good because it's a launcher. So you get a combo off of it. I'm pretty sure this is the best combo with the ender of your choice. So you're talking a 1 plus 2 grab that does 60 points damage and wall carries uh, and position changes. So one way you can use this grab, first of all, you can cancel back two one plus two in crouch. So this is one way to do it, right? Back two one plus two into crouch, and then you do the falling rain throw. Like that, right? So that's one way to do it. Forward two into crouch. It's a classic, right? Uh, sweep into cancel. Some ideas, some setups for it. Uh, also, you could consider doing... So you're in crouch. You do a little shimmy like this. The opponent sees that and thinks, oh, he's going to do a 1 plus 2 throw. So you do the shimmy, and then you just do a regular throw. And they're going to push 1 plus 2 because they're so scared of the falling rain throw. You see what I mean? So there are, oh yeah, while standing 1 plus 2, also an option that ends in crouch. You could cancel it. Uh, there is a bunch of ways to use this. It's good. It's very useful. Because of the damage, the reward off of it is top, top tier. 63 damage? Come on, bro. 